We're back, and we're making more feet. If you Hooray. don't, if you don't want to watch me make feet, skip this video. The end. The end. <laughs> Everybody skip the video. Now that we're alone. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so same story as before. Uh, we spread this out. Now, I'm going to um, take a... It's not quite a liberty. We're going to make the front toes kind of point out this way slightly. Um, oh, let me kill off perspective for just a minute, too. So... Uh, I see. It's when perspective is on that yep. it doesn't want to update that much. And that's fine. You notice these guys kind of move a little bit, like the whole perspective kind of shifts? Yeah, I see that. It's interesting. Anyway, sorry, quick distraction. So let's make sure that we put just four quick toes in, and then we can get them all positioned. I don't even care how long they are right now. We're just kind of dropping them in real fast. I think I just did some extra ones there by clicking a couple times, so do watch out for that. Zoom. And can I get one right there? Will it go? Yeah, it went. Okay, good. And we'll pull that out. Now let's get these all positioned. So there's some front ones. Here's some back ones. And I'll go with something about like so. Uh, we can always rotate it around if we need to kind of reposition it. Let me spin us back to something where you can kind of see from the side. And uh, let's go ahead and kill perspective for just a minute. And we'll pull these down to the existing ground plane. Bring it back in. That looks pretty good, I think. Let me pull this guy out just a little more. Okay, now, time for the shaping. So, click, click. So, how have you been doing, Jason? Well, I've been doing okay. Thank you very much for asking. I mean, we got nothing else to do. I mean, no. I'm just... Well, I'm as just... you know, and... and... Some people on the site know last night, you know, I had a stupid tumble and uh, destroyed my iPhone, which is quite sad. So I'm waiting on a new screen to come in tomorrow. Yeah, that's interesting. You're actually going to be installing a new screen as opposed to... Well, after to... seeing what Apple charges to do it, I was like, screw that. And how it's much like, do they charge? Around 250 bucks. Which means that uh, buying the screen for about $30 probably is about right. <laughs> Everything else is just the premium to have Apple handle it for you. Precisely. So, yeah, outside of that, you know, I was really good. I didn't run out and immediately use it as it, because the first thing you said was, that, was ah, you're going to get an iPhone 4S now. <laughs> I totally thought and that's you what know you were going to do. Bad I want one just for the camera. The oh, yeah. camera is so much nicer oh, yeah. now. And that would be pretty true to form, and you know this. I do, and I know that for me, someone who loves to take pictures, especially even just candidates with the phone. I mean, I've got thousands of them. Oh, the that I've great taken. at it. Yeah, and in this camera, and then it's a higher resolution. Yeah, camera. suddenly the, with yeah, and the aperture is uh, it's got a, a wider aperture, and now. apparently it takes the pictures faster, which is also very cool. Absolutely. So you know, so, I mean, yeah, there's all kinds of reasons. But uh, like I said, and even just sitting here right now, I'm I know you've already sold yourself on one. I'm surprised you don't already have one. I, you know, it wasn't like when the four came out. Remember when the four came out? Yes, very well. <laughs> you you were involved in that. Yeah, I got one too. too. I got one too. But I was right there, ready. For, I was pretty close to my upgrade you actually wait didn't i end up technically with yours or because i was in yeah we um, switched i was in michigan at the time yep and I, had to, I had to send thing. it to you because i'm awesome by the way you were very awesome in case people um, need to know everybody that was in the class awesome i was in are. they all took this field trip yeah and um went and like camped out from like five o'clock that morning at the uh the store that was like 45 minutes away from oh wow where we yeah that's hardcore I was like, yeah, Next mine, will be, mine will be arriving tomorrow. I can wait one more day. It's not going to kill me. All right, the drawing gives us no information in this regard, so I'm actually going to make these feet face the other direction. Mm -hmm. I mean, so many other aspects of the key's morphology just scream 360-degree mobility that I think it'll be cool if we just say, to heck with it, and make this foot face back. What are you talking about? There's information that you can see. It does face back, and you can look at the, the very back, left leg, his left, our right. Can you just go with it, please? Oh, yes. That sounds like a great idea, Zach. Thank you. So glad you thought of that. Thank you. That's really all I'm asking. It wasn't even all that hard. It's all right. Outstanding. I can't wait till we send these videos off to Scott Sigler. He's going to listen to us and be like, oh, man, these guys are idiots. Well, yeah. <laughs> but we've read his book, so he can't complain too much. Yes. At least but, we're cool idiots. But we are, yeah, but we are Scott Sigler junkies, so that's cool. Yes. For those of you that have not read... Books such as Infected or Contagious. 
both of which are pretty awesome. That's that's actually how I discovered him. I just wanted some sort of horror book to read. Well, the cool thing about the the whole infected contagious thing is, that, of course, you got me to read those. Yeah. And hang on just a second. Make sure that locals on um you got me to read those by just harping on how cool uh the first one was and then the second one and finally i was like all right fine i'll read it and of course i awesome books i read them both back to back just devoured them because they were just so much fun and then the the great thing that i love is i was able to return the favor you by did. insisting you to read the gfl series it's funny because when scott sigler comes out with a new book and he's working on one one of the things that he does that's that's really cool for all of his fans is since he records all of his own audiobooks, he'll he'll do readings of uh, of these books, and he does like a weekly podcast, and he'll release what he's recorded for free, yeah, which is, which is really cool. Um, so if you're following along, while he's actually doing these recordings before the content goes off to be, you know, sold by Audible or Amazon or wherever, then um, I mean you have access to it for free, and you get to follow along, which is which is really. That's really cool of him. Yeah, it is. But um, when he was working on The Rookie, I, I saw those videos, those podcasts coming out, excuse me, and I had just finished off with Contagious, and I... I thought The Rookie was like six years ago. I don't... Or, or maybe... Or no, maybe well, one of the other ones, like the All-Pro, the, maybe? Yeah, it could have been one of those. Yeah. But for, for whatever reason, I was over at his site, and I saw The Rookie, though. Yeah, okay. And I, I, gotcha. I just... I read only a little bit about Quentin quarterback and told yeah. myself you know what i'm just i'm not in a mood to read a, a football book you know i, I wasn't either didn't realize that it was it was aliens it was this massive science fiction book yeah you know actually i was kind of the same thing um i'm always the i, I like football but i'm not like a crazy football right. addict and uh, like it takes me forever to finally decide to watch films like any given Sunday or actually my favorite football film of all time, the program. Mm -hmm. uh, but when I watch them, like, oh, my God, that was so much fun. And I was kind of the same way about the rookie. I was like, yeah, it sounds interesting. And then I was over at Amazon because I was trying to find a new book for my Kindle and the reviews on it were just incredible. And I was like, how on earth or, <laughs> or anywhere else for that matter uh, is a, a book about football? And aliens going to end up with reviews like this because the reviews are just outstanding. And so I was like, oh, what the heck? I'll go ahead and buy it. And then just ripped it to shreds. And then I you read that just so went hardcore. on and on harping on me about having to get it and, and read it. And I was like, I will, I will, I will. But uh, finally got around to it. And it got, it, it got to a point where I was just so into it. But with us uh, going out to the gym and jogging and all... He obviously you can't bring the book with you and, and read. And that's when I got actually purchased the, uh, the audio book. Yeah. And I did not realize how much effort he put into the production of that. With it's really good quality stuff. Yeah, you hearing the crowd and, and all of the special effects and all the aliens have very distinctive voices. And it's just good stuff. Very cool. So that's from now on. I'm, like, I'm on the second book. I'm just doing everything through audio book with this now. Because it's just so much fun listening to it. I'm going back and listening to the audiobooks, but I'm reading them first. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> just because, I, I don't know, I just like reading books. I don't have that much free time. <clears throat> I hear you. Hey. Okay, got so feet. we've got feet. Um, I'm trying to decide if I think they ought to be bigger or smaller, and it's just, it's kind of hard to tell from here, really. Um, I'm going to make a few positional changes to the toes here. Well, any of these guys out, are you not worried about any rotational orientation? Not oh. really. Okay, just curious. That's all stuff that can be adjusted kind of as we go. Sure. I really have this love-hate relationship with ZBrush's navigation. Every now and then, I think it's the best thing ever. And then other times, not so much. <laughs> All right, so we'll just, we'll go with that. And then if I need to make any tweaks or changes, we can do that then. Okay, so now we can move over to uh, the hands, which really, uh, uh, without trying to bring this over every three seconds, uh, really are kind of like all thumbs. Yeah, they are. I can see that. So... We'll create them very similarly to how we created the feet.
awfully quiet in here. Yeah, theme music would be good. How would my theme music go, do you think? I don't know, you do it all the time. Do I? Mm-hmm. He doesn't realize it. I really don't. <laughs> you could always do a video series called Margarita Modeling. You know, it'd probably be wildly popular. Probably so. We do it in we do it in increments. So with we've the done, series, actually, the funny thing is we've actually done it a couple of times. We just don't tell anybody. Yeah. Well, it's in generally we pretty much have our senses about ourselves. But if we started out like episode number one, this is with one picture. <laughs> and episode number two, this is with two pictures. And episode number three, this is with three pictures. I have no idea what we're modeling by the end of it. <laughs> so we can compare. Uh, well. <laughs> The abilities that we have as we progress forward through uh, larger doses of <laughs> margarita goodness. Yeah, that would be intense. Oh, moving stuff. <laughs> Stop yes, moving stuff. This is what I'm talking about with certain aspects of ZBrush's navigation. Because I wasn't clicking on him. Anywhere. Oh, don't gra- don't don't blame. I'm not blaming. Really? ZBrush okay. because of your do, inability. Do you, do you see my to... cursor? Do you see where my cursor is? Do you see my cursor actually on top of any Z spheres? I do. Okay, what Z sphere is it sitting on top of? What do you want me to do? Give you like a, a number and a letter? Yes, actually. Thirteen Z. I need the I need the the GUID number in the program that actually represents that particular. Oh, now Z-sphere. I'm gonna have to tell Nelson that you actually said GUID in this video. He'll be excited. Or I'll just tell him in one of the videos, and he'll watch the entire. He'll series. be excited. Yes, he will. He will. Extremely excited. Okay, I think, I think that will work out just fine for the basics of a hand. Uh, let me go ahead and create one up here. Now I'm going to get some developer from Pixel Logic going. Actually, they don't have a GUID associated with them in the code. <laughs> Look, buddy, I know, or I didn't know, but I'm just saying, it doesn't matter. <laughs> Actually, insert inside the code, we give each Z sphere an, a unique and individual name. This one is Bob. <laughs> This Hi, one, Bob. This one is Josie. <laughs> we named this one Lollipop. I just heard Nelson sigh somewhere. Mm-hmm. <sighs> Until he found out one was named Rainbow, <laughs> <laughs> and then he was happy. Yeah. So close. Yep. Can straighten a few things out real quick. I highly recommend somebody turn on music while you're watching these. And turn us down. And well, no, well that that goes without saying. <laughs> but uh, I'd be interested to know what sort of music people would play in the background if they did have music on. It just really all depends on my mood. Yeah. True of us all, I think. Ah! <laughs> Special thumb. I suppose. I didn't want any of that to happen. That one was rainbow, wasn't it? <laughs> that was, that a, was rainbow. It was excited. Just kind of jumped yeah, out at you. Exactly. All right. So we have... Hand like apparati. We've Very got cool. feet. Okay. Um, I'll probably end up needing to scale these hands up. Let me see if I can do that real quick without it becoming too much of a pain. If it doesn't happen quickly, then I'll I'll just do it later. Um, but the problem is I don't really have any nice place to grab that Z sphere right there. Yeah. Just make sure to use the right tool. Uh, well, I get, give give, it, give us a sec. Um, let's see. Uh, that's not exactly what I had in mind. Whoop. I could do that, just kind of on an individual basis. 
That kind of helped. Yeah, I think we can go with that. Okay, so we have hands and feet. We and, do. And we're about 16 minutes in, so I think this is a good enough spot to kind of call it for now. Sounds awesome. And then uh, we'll go from here kind of shaping out. Uh, give a little more attention to where the legs are posed okay. and what they actually look like. We have to add in little nuanced features uh, like the split forearms and shins because that's kind of an interesting thing. Z-spheres alone can't do that. Mm -hmm. So we've got to get a little bit clever with our skeletal layout. But we'll, haul, we'll handle that as we move forward. Uh, for now, that's going to wrap things up for this video. Thank you to all of our viewers and, of course, to our member sponsors. Yeah. And we'll catch you all later. Bye.